Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Every Step Scripting Tool Quick Start Guide. Since this is our first time using the tool, we're just going to go ahead and record a new script. On the initial splash screen here, we can see there's a couple different ways we can do our monitoring. We can do a headless HTTP monitor or a true browser emulation. We're going to go with a user experience, so we want the browser emulation. You can see that there's many different devices we can select here in order to facilitate the monitoring. We're going to go ahead and use Google Chrome for this presentation. Now that we've entered in our starting URL, let's go over some of the buttons on the left-hand side. You'll see we can start recording, stop recording, and then there's the option for RIA recording buttons. Now RIA stands for Rich Internet Application. That's if your application or website uses a heavy amount of Flash, HTML5, etc. That's when you'd want to use those options. Reach out to your account manager if you feel RIA recording is right for you. Now that the web page is fully loaded, what we're going to do is some keyword validation to ensure that the correct words are on the page. So let's go with a word that we know is going to be static on the page every single time. And we can go ahead and add that to our keyword validation. From there, we're going to move on to logging in to the website. Now that we're on this page, we want to also do another keyword validation. Another way to do it is to right-click on a word and add it to the keyword validation field. Let's go ahead and enter in our username and password. Now when clicking into a new text box, I do recommend that we physically click the box rather than pressing the tab button. Now that we are logged into the .com monitor portal, I want to do another keyword validation, this time of this word here, manager. Another way to do that is select the text button on the left hand side and type in manager. From here, we'll go to the downloads tab to the Every Step Scripting tool. Now if you haven't downloaded the Every Step Scripting tool, please ensure you do that now. That way you can create scripts like I have. Once the script is completed, sign out. Make sure that you always sign out of your application or website to ensure proper monitoring. And now we can go ahead and stop the monitoring. We'll see that the recording has completed, but we do need to play back the script in order to make sure that it is running properly. Before we do that, I did want to go in and mask my password. I know that it can create some security concerns when we're putting in usernames and passwords. So we'll clip on the type text here. We'll select the .com monitor rules password and convert to a context parameter. By default, it is a string value. We're going to select a hidden value to properly mask the password. Now that this is complete, we can play back the script to ensure that there are no errors. Playing back the script is important for a couple of different reasons. First off, it gives us an opportunity to watch what we've recorded to make sure that all of the steps that we want to monitor are present within the script. Second, it gives us a chance to ensure that there are no network issues on the page or any sort of scripting issues on the page. and it's looking like this script is recording very, very well. And just like that, it's done recording. We can see that there's five steps. There's no script errors, there's no network errors. If there were, we'd want to select them and ignore the URL. From there, it's as easy as uploading the script to your .com monitor account, and you will begin monitoring immediately. If you have any additional questions, make sure you check out our wiki page and reach out to your account manager directly. Thank you for joining me today. We hope to see you next time.